I'm back with another tutorial. This is a festival inspired tutorial or you can wear this not to a festival and just if you want to because I don't think you have to be limited. Well today I just felt inspired to do something a little bit more fun and different and it definitely reminded me of more of a music festival vibe. Let's just get into the tutorial. So I've already filled in my eyebrows off camera. I'm just going to go ahead and start with my eyes. I'm first taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to define right under my lashes. It's just going to make my brows more sharp and defined and kind of just make them a little bit stronger looking. Now I'm priming my eyelids with MAC's Painterly Paint Pot and picking up the color cream from the Lorac Pro palette and I'm just gonna set my eyelid with that to make the blending process a little bit easier later on. So I'm actually taking my Hoola bronzer and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade and I'm just gonna pick that up with a fluffy brush and blend it straight into my crease area. Next for the fun part, I'm picking up this NYX eyeshadow in the shade Hot Yellow and this is part of their Primal Colors line so it's just a single eyeshadow and it's a super super bright yellow as you can see. So I'm taking a very flat brush and I'm going to just pop that right into my tear duct area. It definitely didn't come out as pigmented as I wanted so what I'm going to do is just wipe off whatever I have left over there and then I'm going to pick up my NYX Jumbo Pencil and just pop that in the corners. That way the yellow shadow will have a base and it'll be able to pop a lot brighter. And make sure to use just padding motions. That way the color gets packed on as intensely as possible. So I'm picking up this white shadow from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm just going to take that on a flat shader brush and then pack it on right in the center of my lid just to make the center of my lid pop a little bit. Next, I'm just creating a little bit of a wing. Ooh, I kind of like this. I don't know why, you guys. I really like it. Oh my god, look at this braid. I love these braids. Like, I think they look super cute. But every time I do them, look at this braid. This is what happens. What the heck? So I am prime. <laughs> I'm priming my skin with Smashbox Hydrating Photo Finish Primer. I freaking love this stuff since I do have dry skin. It's more of a gel formula, so my foundation sticks to it really nicely. For foundation today, I'm, I'm using L'Oreal's True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I did a review on it. If you guys want to check it out, I can link it down below. But I'm just putting it on with a beauty blender. And I actually really do it like this foundation. Now to conceal, I'm using my Maybelline, uh, what is this? Maybelline Fit Me. And just to look a little bit brighter, I'm using my Maybelline Master Conceal. This is in the shade 10 Fair. And you guys know I love this stuff to really just brighten up my under eye or just to highlight a bit around my face. I just use the tiniest amount of it and I feel like it makes the biggest difference. My favorite powder to set my face with is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, as you can see. I use this a lot because I like that this is the only powder that doesn't put such a heavy coverage, yet it still mattifies my face in a nice way that's not too heavy. So I just put that on all over with a stippling brush, 
so that the coverage is not too heavy. Then to set my under eyes, I use Laura Mercier's Soft Porcelain Mineral Powder, and I put that on with a Real Techniques setting brush. Moving back to the eyes, I'm just going to line my waterline with this nude eyeliner from Rimmel. Then I'm picking up Max Soft Brown on a pencil brush and I'm just going to run that on my lower lash line. I'm going to take a flat liner brush and pick up Sable from the Lorac Pro Palette and just put that a little bit more tightly closer to my lashes. Now I'm going in with mascara and guess which one I'm using? Guess. Urban Decay Perversion, of course, because I am obsessed. <sighs> I'm now gonna go ahead and put some false lashes on. I'm using the Kiss Lashes in the style Flirty, but I'm gonna put those on off camera because I suck. Okay, so my lashes are on. I can go ahead and bronze my face. I'm using Hula Bronzer to contour and a Real Techniques contour brush. I'm trying to keep the bronze theme, so for blush I am using Milani's Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze and an e.l.f. blush brush. I'm just using a touch of it because it's super pigmented. And to highlight my nose and cheekbones, I'm using Max Soft and Gentle. I'm taking this eyeliner and I'm just going to place a few dots sort of lining my crease area right here. Let's see how this turns out. Now I'm going to try and match up this shape from this eye to this eye. I don't know if I'm going to succeed, but I'm going to try. I really love how it came out. I'm gonna keep it pretty basic for lips since the eyes are doing enough already. So I'm lining my lips with the NYX's Ever Lip Liner. Then I'm going in with ColourPop's Lippy Stick in the shade Razor, which you guys know is my favorite. And you guys know me, I gotta set my face somehow. So I'm using Max Fix Plus. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because it shows me that you guys like what I'm watching and also like this video if you liked it, of course. <laughs> if you guys want any more festival inspired looks, then I can definitely get that out for you. So just let me know in the comments below. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you once again for stopping by and just taking time out of your day or night to watch this video. I appreciate it and I love you. I will see you in my next video. Bye.